what we believe is happening as as the Russians continue to get frustrated and slow down, and they really haven't made uh, any noteworthy progress in the last few days, uh, with the exception of down south. In the south, they continue to have some uh, uh, progress, but up in the north and northeast. Um, uh, what, what we assess is as they continue to get frustrated, um, uh, they continue to rely now more on what we would call uh, uh, long-range fires. So this is bombardment, missile strikes, long-range artillery into city centers that they aren't in yet, at least not on the ground in any significant number. Uh, so we're seeing that. And, of course, that has been leading uh, to, and as, as you would expect it would, when you're relying more on long-range fires, you're going you're gonna to cause more damage. Uh, and you're going to kill more people and injure more people. And so that's what, we're, that's what we think is happening. That's what we're seeing, uh, seeing them do. And we think it's because, again, they have not been able to make up for the lost time that they continue to suffer from on the, on the ground in terms of the advancement of ground forces. The bottom line is more civilians are being killed and wounded. More civilian infrastructure is being damaged or destroyed. Uh, and Mr. Putin still has a choice here. Uh, not to escalate, uh, not to be... Uh, not to be uh, more aggressive in the use of these long-range fires and uh, in his capabilities, but to find a diplomatic path forward and to end the, the invasion. Government.